next uh, speaker is Anche Kunzi uh, from Zurich, Switzerland, and uh, she's a co-founder of Smarter Better Cities AG, a software company that provides web-based procedural modeling solutions in 3D city libraries, is going to be talking about uh, participatory uh, urban planning. Anche. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, good afternoon. My name is Antje Kunze. I'm the CEO of the Swiss startup Smarter Better Cities, and we are attending the ESRI startup program. So we offer customized 3D um, web solution based on ESRI City Engine and also on ESRI 3D web based technologies and also ArcGIS Online. So in this talk, I'd like to give you a short presentation on our 3D web based solutions for participatory urban planning and how you could use Esri City Engine and 3D web scenes for geodesign. So the customer story which I'm showing you is a 3D TIS reconstruction of the Toku region and the imp implementation in a 3D web-based viewer. So our clients, um, the Tsukupa University and the Tokyo Metropolitan University, are currently investigating methodologies to preserve the character of the traditional fishing villages along the Toku region coastline. So this area was one of the areas which were stricken by the tsunami in 2011. So maybe you have seen the talk of uh, Karl Steinitz on Tuesday afternoon. So our area we worked on is a few miles more north. And we are actually working with one of the professors which attended also the geodesign workshop um, with Karl Steinitz and also the ESRI team with uh, Shannon McElveny and also with uh, Eric Wittner in Japan. So the main goal for this detailed uh, 3D reconstruction of the five fishermen villages is to show the qualities of the rural environment before the tsunami. So and to use the web-based viewer as a sharing and learning platform for the inhabitants and decision makers for the future developments. So both universities, uh, Tsuzuku, uh, Tsuzuka uh, University and also the Tokyo Metropolitan University are currently using these tools in their workshop with the local government and also with inhabitants. So the universities wanted a 3D TIS reconstruction of this region and they wanted to embed these 3D models in their analysis and research work workflows uh, which they are using in their universities. So we created a customized 3D library for Esri City Engine that featured the typical Japanese rural land use types in this region. So from the university, we were provided with 2D land survey data on satellite imageries before and after the tsunami. So we got building footprints, vegetation building textures. We also got some sketches about typical buildings with measurements, roof and window style and also measurements and details about the vegetation. So for the university, we produced uh, like two products. So one was this customized Japanese house types for city engine. They can also use this uh, rule packages also for further ana analysis methods in ArcGIS desktop. And we also um, got them like the web viewer, um, this customized web viewer, uh, the cloud cities which includes the 3D web scenes of the five villages and also 2D maps. So it also includes ArcGIS online maps for an easy and intuitive way to share and to discuss the 3D reconstruction models of the fishermen villages. So I will switch now. Yes. I think it's already started. Okay, here we are. Um, I show you now like a video, how this uh, web viewer looks like. So it's based on ESRI technology, so all the 3D web scenes are produced by City Engine, and we are also using 2D map technologies uh, from ArcGIS Online. So this Cloud Cities viewer runs on uh, major platforms, so it's like um, you can share a web link. So it runs on Safari, Firefox, or Chrome also on tablets and smartphones. So it includes um, synchronized 2D and 3D content, and we have uh, 
on the left side like uh, actual online maps to choose the different web scenes. And in the middle you see the, um, the web, web scene showing the actual villages and the features of the villages, which are then linked with a 2D map for panning, navigating analysis of the web scenes. On the right side we have a cardboard with more information about the projects and also information about the different um, parameters of the, um, of the buildings and also the um, 2D map of ArcGIS Online. So from the 2D mapping feed, you can do a simply trip analysis, some queries of statistics, like census data, which all comes from ArcGIS Online. So all is synced, the 2D and the 3D. So you can click on a 3D building, and it will highlight the building in the 2D map, and show a trip calculation and list values and attributes and reports of the building. Then you can pan the 2D view of the ArcGIS Online map or select another buildings inside the 2D map, and the 3D view will automatically follow that. So isn't this really great um, that this 2D and 3D working side by side? So I'm really impressed, and um, the team also from the Tsuku University, they really like also to share the, the web scenes uh, with um, the different decision makers. And all the data comes from ArcGIS Online, and it's really linked to all the 3D um, buildings. So on top of the 3D buildings, you could also show different kind of layers. So um, you can play with the layers, and uh, here, for example, we implemented in a roof high city engine the solar potentials. So all related pa parameters uh, to the solar po potential were also shown on the cardboard on the right side. So the universities are using the system with the inhabitants of the Toku region to explore and understand their cultural heritage, which is, which is gone by now. But this is something that they want to capture, the key patterns of the traditional villages. And they can use these patterns also for new designs, maybe more compact towns, but they still follow these traditional layouts and landscaping. Thank you.